So you want to start driving lessons. Which instructor suits you best? How would you choose an instructor? These are the questions that's probably going to run through your mind. I'm hoping to answer a few of them. So let's get started. So you've got your provisional license and you want to get an instructor to teach you to drive so, so you can get to a good standard and pass your driving test and be happy that you're safe on the roads. It's as simple as that, but when you Google it <laughs> and you type in driving instructors in my area, it's going to come up with two, three, four pages of instructors that live in that area. Some of them live slightly further away as well. Um, some are going to be independent ones, some are going to be um, franchise ones, um, so it's up to you what you want to choose. Now, if I was looking for an instructor, I would contact my friend first and just say, you passed, didn't you? Oh yes, I did. Well, can you recommend your instructor? And they'll say yes or no. The, the leaver say yes, it's fantastic, and they'll tell you all the good things that he's done, or they'll say no, he's actually a pile of rubbish. Like I wasn't happy with them. They messed me around and so on. Um, so if you get one who's going to recommend someone, what, what you want to hear is, I'm happy with them, every lesson they're on time, they didn't mess me around, I made progress, I felt comfortable, I didn't feel uncomfortable in the, in, in the driver's seat next to them, uh, all these things that you want to hear. If you hear that, great. Now, and then get the number of that instructor. If it's a franchise that they, they give you a number of, and it's say just, just say his name's Joe, and he works at franchise, blah, 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 then when you contact a franchise, ask for Joe. Otherwise, what they're gonna do is, okay, you want a drive instructor in your area, we'll send you, uh, uh, we'll get someone to contact you. And it could be anybody that who works for that company. So remember that, that anybody might be fantastic, or they might not be as good as that Joe. So bear that in mind. The other thing is, if you're going to contact an independent one, then um, he'll be working on his own, or she'll be working on his own, so that person's, um, that's all you're going to get. So if, if they say, oh, it's um, Derek, uh, um, that's such a driving school, it works for himself, then when you contact a driving school, that's who you're going to get, Derek. Not no one else, because he works for himself. Uh, so at least you know what you're going to get there. The other thing also to bear in mind is um, people going about the price, it's not just the price that you want to get, it's that standard of driving. Now, obviously everyone wants to get a, 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 a good reasonable price when they're having driving lessons, but them driving lessons are going to last you. Ooh, maybe you're going to have between 20 and 40 hours of driving lessons, maybe a bit more, depending on the person. That's what you've got to remember, everyone's different. There's no, like, um, how long it's going to take you to pass from start to finish. Every, per every person's different. I can have someone who comes to us next week and they might take um, 20 hours of lessons. I could have the same person the week after, it could take up to 50 hours of lessons. So everybody's different and that's what you've got to remember is when it comes to the to starting driving lessons, give it off a budget, so say say budget say 40 hours, just to have it 45 hours and at least you know it's gonna, what it's gonna cost you then. Don't say I'm gonna go in there expecting to pay, pay 15 hours of lessons and then run out of money because you'll be disappointed that you've wasted 15 hours of lessons and you can't carry on. So if you're going to start your lessons, budget yourself for, for 40 odd hours or work out that you can f afford one hour a week like that so that you, you're, you're having consistent lessons because that's the key also, consistency. If you have a lesson every week, you know, most of the time, I mean, occasionally you'll have to miss one because of a holiday or you're away working somewhere, but more, nine times out of ten, you will have a lesson every week, whether it be one hour or one and a half hours or two hours, that lesson every week and consistently backing it up with lesson after lesson after lesson, you'll get to a point where you'll get to that standard. And um, also bear in mind that when you're um, asking for a driving lesson off, off a, off a um off a franchise or offer an independent you, you can ask them what grade they are you know they've got the two got a couple of grades you've got a grade a instructor a grade b instructor there's not much difference to be honest it's just a, on the day that they they take their check test that grades them for it um but um if you get one who's got a trainee license then they're going to be a trainee for six months and then they've got to take the test all right, so bear that in mind, if they're a trainee, um, if they don't pass that test, they can't teach you after that. So you might end up having lessons with them and all of a sudden they disappear off the, off the cloud, off, off, off the world. Like that. They don't see them again or they could end up passing fantastic and they could be actually the, one of the best instructors in that area. So bear that in mind if you, if you go over a trainee, that's a pink license, 
Um, and um, don't be afraid to ask them what, what license they have, whether they're a full license holder or a pink license holder or what grade they are. Ask them, they're quite happy to show you. Every instructor displays their badge on the window. You've got to. And then the other thing what you want to also remember is that um, if you're having these lessons and you're you're thinking, oh God, I've had like five lessons and I'm, I don't feel happy. You know, my friend said that instructor was fantastic, but I don't feel comfortable at all. Then when your next lesson, speak to your instructor and just say, listen, I don't feel comfortable. There's nothing wrong with you. I just, I just don't feel like I'm learning. I don't feel like I'm making progress. And you'll, you'll have a chat, honest chat about it. And end of the day, you'll either come to terms with it and you'll move on. And you both go your own way because there's no point in um, persevering if you don't feel like you're making progress and you don't feel like you're enjoying it. Try a different instructor. Or it could be that that little conversation every instructor has cleared the air and you feel all, all fine about it now and you're ready for your lessons. So there's all sorts of things to consider. Um, hopefully that's helped you in a few, a few of them. Good luck with your lessons and um, let us know how you get on.